In this video, we're gonna be talking about everything clutch. What exactly is a clutch? A clutch in its most basic form is to help you to change gear and to make sure that you can keep the engine running when you come to a stop. You don't need to be a mechanic to drive a manual car, and I've got to be honest, I didn't really understand the clutch, and I still don't understand the clutch fully. I, I, I just don't need to. I'm, I'm not a mechanic. But I guess in order to understand how to move off smoothly, you do need to have some knowledge. So a clutch, basically, in its most simplest form, is two plates coming together. One is rotating, one isn't. Once those two speeds are matched, you can then lift the clutch off, which means when I'm on the biting point, I've got to hold it for two, three seconds. Adding a little bit of gas, I find the biting point, hold it for one, two, three seconds, and then I move off. The differences between a diesel and a petrol engine are a diesel engine has a very robust clutch. It means you can actually drive the car using the clutch. It is the easiest way for you to be able to use your clutch because you're only using one pedal. However, it's not the way you should be driving off. If you lift it up too quickly, you're going to stall. What you really gotta do is you gotta be able to use the gas with the clutch. Set the gas, find the biting point, one, two, three seconds, and then lift the clutch and I'm done. Now, a petrol engine doesn't quite have such a robust clutch, although you can still move the car using the clutch, but you definitely need to use more gas. And it's almost a little bit more intuitive to use the gas with a petrol engine. And before we bring the gas in, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play with the clutch just all by itself. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the clutch up to the biting point, just using the clutch. I'm gonna find that biting point, And because I'm driving a diesel car, the car could start to move forwards. And then if I bring the clutch down, it's gonna roll backwards. And then I bring the clutch up a tiny bit, it's gonna move forwards. If I'm too ragged, and I'm sort of moving it like that, I'm gonna be all over the place. It needs to be nice and gentle. Touch the gas, bringing the revs up to about one, one and a half, and just getting used to keeping it nice and steady. This time I'm gonna set the gas. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring that clutch slowly up to the biting point. I'm gonna hold it for a couple of seconds and then I'm gonna dip the clutch again and the car might roll backwards. I'm gonna keep that gas on to begin with then I'm gonna bring that clutch up again, find the biting point and then I'm gonna dip it again and the car then rocks backwards again. I'm gonna find that biting point again, the car moves forwards and then clutch back down again. So that's one little exercise that you can perform with the gas and the clutch. You can initially start off with just the clutch, then you can bring the gas in. You can separate the two things. You can do the gas all by itself. You can do the clutch all by itself, and then you can bring those two things together. The elephant in the room. My car has an electric handbrake. Now a normal handbrake is a lever. It's kind of like a ratchet that as you bring it up, it goes click, 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 and it holds into place and it's what holds the car. What you would do is you do that exercise that I just performed. So you set the gas, you find the biting point. As you get to the biting point, you're gonna feel the back of the car sink. You can then release the handbrake, which would be button, lift the handbrake up a little bit so the button goes in and then the handbrake goes down and then you go. When it comes to an electronic handbrake, as I find the biting point, it's just gonna release for me. It just removes an extra thing for me to think about. It is actually quite good. If I want to move off using feet without using my handbrake, I have to find the biting point. If I bring my clutch up to the biting point too high, as I go to move off, that happens. When you get close to the biting point, it gives that little boost of rev. Every time I do it, you hear the engine go vroom. Hear it again? Bring my clutch up to get that little vroom sound. I'm gonna lift my foot brake, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my clutch up a tiny little bit more and hold so the car's not actually moving. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my foot over to the gas pedal, I'm gonna add a bit of gas, and then I'm gonna bring the clutch up a little bit. So that's it, that's the end of another video. In this video, I've gone over how to use your clutch. I've given you a couple of exercises that you can perform with the gas and the clutch in order to improve your clutch control. Remember, it's really small movements, that's kind of what you need. I hope this has been beneficial to you. If it has, hit that like button, subscribe, and then you're gonna know when the next video is coming out. Hit me up in the comments down below if there's any questions that you have or if there's a video that you'd like to see. Be good people. Keep practicing. Keep driving. See ya.